Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So you may have noticed that there was an ad at the beginning of this video, which means I am officially monetized on YouTube. So I wanna sit down with you guys and talk about exactly how it happened, how long it took for me to get monetized on YouTube. I'm going to be sharing my whole entire timeline with you guys, as well as some things that you need to know, like how you can speed up the process, make it go a little bit smoother, Google AdSense, because obviously we just have to talk about Google AdSense. And then some of the things that I was actually doing even before I got approved to make sure that my account was set up and ready to be monetized. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Now, I've watched my fair share of videos of YouTube were sharing exactly how they got monetized, receiving their first paycheck, talking about Google AdSense. And if you've watched any of them, then you already know every single one of those videos talks about what it takes to get monetized on YouTube, meaning the guidelines that YouTube has. So in case you didn't know, in case you haven't been watching those videos, you actually need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours within the last year to be put in review by YouTube to get monetized. So that means if you've had a YouTube channel for over three years and you've been generating views ever since then, YouTube actually only takes into consideration the last 365 days when it comes to your watch hours. Not only do you need to hit those guidelines, but you also need to have a Google AdSense account. So if you are already a blogger and you have ads on your website, you are already set up and ready to receive money on YouTube. But if you don't, I want to talk about that a little bit more later in this video. So let's start with my timeline. I created my YouTube channel in October of 2017. That is when I launched my first YouTube video and it was an Instagram stories tutorial. Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to use Instagram stories on obviously your phone. When I originally created my YouTube channel, the goal was to create videos that would enhance my blog post. So I do own a blog called thecontentbug.com and if you wanna check it out, I share a ton of digital marketing tips, Instagram, Pinterest, SEO, blogging, all of that stuff is included on my website. But my original goal with my YouTube channel was just to create video tutorials and other things that were going to enhance my blog post. Once I realized that my YouTube channel could be monetized and that I could turn it into another income stream, guys, I will do anything to get another high quality income stream on my list of income streams that I already have. And if you guys have watched any of my money making videos, you know that I preach about having a wide variety of income streams. So once I realized that I can monetize my YouTube channel, I obviously set a goal for myself to get my YouTube channel monetized. And I realized that I needed to hit those first 1000 subscribers as well as the 4000 watch hours. So it ended up taking me until June 9th of 2019 to hit 1000 subscribers here on YouTube. If you are curious about how you can gain more subscribers or how I went from zero to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. You can check out this video right here. But it ended up taking me an additional 20 days to reach my 4,000 watch hours. And honestly, for me, it kind of worked hand in hand. It was like I hit 1,000 subscribers and I was really close to my watch hours. And I was like, you know what? It's gonna take two weeks. It'll be a breeze. Well, it ended up taking me almost three weeks and that's totally okay, totally fine. But for me, it almost worked hand in hand. It was like the more subscribers I got, the more watch hours I got. So I was put into review by YouTube on June 29th because I had hit those two guidelines. Now, I had done my research and I have seen a lot of people that have gotten approved within a week, have gotten approved within two days. And I was like, sweet, I'm gonna get my first YouTube paycheck so quick. I actually put it on my YouTube video calendar and I was like, this is going to be my video when I get my first YouTube paycheck, which is funny because that is the exact date that this video is coming out. So if you believe in manifestation, manifestation at its finest. Now, I do not obviously have my first YouTube paycheck, but I am officially monetized on YouTube and it ended up taking me 20 days. So it was from June 29th, 2019 until July 18th, 2019. And last night at 5 p.m., I did end up receiving an email from YouTube that let me know that I was approved. So in case you are curious, at the point of me actually being monetized on YouTube, I had 1,389 subscribers. And within the last 365 days, the last year, I had 277,000 watch minutes, which equates to 4,600 watch hours. So I was a little bit above the guideline that I had to hit in order to be monetized on YouTube. So obviously it took me a year and a half from the start of my YouTube channel to being monetized on YouTube. And I know that that isn't a very, very fast timeline, but I think it is a realistic timeline if you are one of those people that is starting YouTube to make money. It can take a while, it can take months, it can take years. And if you are truly passionate about it, then it will be worth it. But if you are not passionate about YouTube and you're just going at it to make money, 
it may not end up working out for you guys. So one thing that really helped me out in order to be monetized a little bit faster is that I was actually already a member of Google AdSense. I was already approved. I had ads on my website. So that was already set up and done for me. Now, when I have watched a couple of these videos in the past, I realized that some YouTubers wait to get approved to be monetized on YouTube and then they apply for Google AdSense. And to me, that just slows down the process and that doesn't make any sense. You can actually apply for Google AdSense before you get approved on YouTube. So as you can see in this screenshot right here, my Google AdSense and everything was set up. I was just waiting to hit my numbers so that it could be put under review. So I would get that done as soon as possible because in order to get approved for Google AdSense, you need to verify that you are a real person. So once you apply, they are going to actually send something to your house and that is typically the piece of paper that everyone holds up in there, my first YouTube paycheck video, that is actually just a verification code that they mail to your house to make sure that you are a legitimate person. So once you get that in the mail, then you have to type that into Google AdSense. Then they have to check your bank information. So they need to make sure that your bank account is actually your bank account. I'm telling you that they run a pretty type ship, but it's, it's good. So they're gonna ask you to give them your bank account information, which is where they are going to directly deposit all of your income into your bank account. So once you type in that information, they're gonna put pennies, like five cents, 13 cents into your bank account. And you need to verify your account by then going back to Google AdSense and typing in that money and making sure that it matches up. Then you need to also enter your tax information. So if you are under 18, there are different guidelines that you need to follow. But if you are over 18, you just need to enter your tax information and you should be good to go with Google AdSense. But since there is that whole process, getting approved for Google AdSense can take a couple of weeks. Now I did it in 2017. So I honestly don't remember how long it took me. I think it took me maybe three weeks, maybe four weeks. It took a decent amount of time for me to actually get the little piece of paper in the mail, but I'm not sure if the process has sped up a little bit since then. I just know that the process is still the exact same. So you can speed up the process a little bit by already applying to Google AdSense and getting that out of the way. But besides that, you need to hit those subscribers and you need to hit those watch hours. So when it comes to your subscribers, you wanna make sure that you are encouraging people to subscribe to your YouTube channel. If you are really struggling to get subscribers and you look at your analytics and you see that a lot of people watching your videos aren't subscribers, you need to encourage them to subscribe to your channel. So if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, hey guys, subscribe to my channel down below and make sure you like this video while you are down there because it really does help to support me. So make sure that you are encouraging people to subscribe to your channel as well as watch your videos the whole way through. Now, along with this, you wanna make sure that your videos are long enough so that you can hit that watch time faster. If you are creating three minute long videos, it is going to take you a long, long time to hit those four thousand watch hours. Guys, those are hours, not minutes. So one of the things that I started doing, I started creating longer videos and there were a couple of reasons to this, but the one reason was that the longer the videos, I ended up getting more watch minutes, which ended up turning into more watch hours. So try to shoot for 10 minutes or longer in videos and I'll explain why in a little bit. Now, while I was waiting for my YouTube channel to be monetized, it's not like I was sitting around just twiddling my thumbs. There were some things that I was doing behind the scenes to make sure that my account was set up for success. And the very first thing was setting my monetization settings. So if you do not have your monetization settings already set up, I would go ahead and do this now so that once you are approved, it's done for you and YouTube puts ads on your video. So you get to decide if you want ads placed at the beginning of your video, during the middle of your video, or at the end of your video, or maybe even all three. You get to select that. You also get to decide what kind of ads you want to appear in your videos. So if you only want the small overlay ones to appear at the very bottom of your videos, you can select only those ads. But my thing is you're not going to be making as much money if you only select one option when it comes to the ads. So for me, I selected three different options. The options that I see the most when it comes to the other creators that I watch. For some reason, I don't see a lot of creators using the ones that appear in the side here. I don't even know if I've ever seen those before. So I personally did not select that. That was my own choice. The next thing I did, I started creating longer videos. And I don't even know if you guys noticed this, but I tried to make all of my videos 10 minutes or longer. And there were a few reasons for this, but one of the reasons was that videos longer than 10 minutes tend to make more money because they can have ads that are in the middle of the video. So if you have a video that's only nine minutes and 50 seconds, you're not allowed to have ads included in the middle of your video, which means that you may only have one ad on that video, the one at the very beginning, and that's not 
not going to make you as much money as a video that includes more ads. So I started creating videos that were longer than 10 minutes so that once I was monetized, I could put more ads on those videos. I'm just being honest with you guys. But there were a few other reasons as to why I created longer videos as well. Like I already said, the longer your video, probably the faster you're going to hit your watch hours. So if you think about it, you need 4,000 watch hours to be under review by YouTube. That equates to 240,000 watch minutes. 240,000 minutes, guys. That is a long time. But if you are creating 10 minute videos, and let's say that people are watching your videos the whole entire way through, which is impossible, not everyone is going to watch your video the whole way through. But if if they did, that would mean that you would only need 24,000 views. Now that is still a ton of views. And if you think about it, a lot of people are going to drop off in your video before even halfway through, before hitting that five minute mark. So you're actually going to need a lot more views. But let's say if people were watching your video the whole entire way through and you created 10 minute long videos, you would only need 24,000 views. Compared to if you're creating videos that are only three minutes long, you are going to need 80,000 views. 80,000 views compared to 24,000 views. There was a big difference there. So by creating longer videos, you're more likely to hit your watch hours a bit faster. And one of the other reasons why I decided to create longer videos was that YouTube favors them. Honestly, YouTube likes videos that are longer. They are promoting more one hour long videos because YouTube is becoming a platform that is taking over TV. Instead of people watching TV, they're watching YouTube videos. And if that's what people are liking, YouTube's going to try to keep them on there for longer. And just like I mentioned, 10 minute long videos can have more ads on them, which is making more money for you, which is making more money for YouTube. And the more money YouTube is making, the better in their eyes. So obviously they're going to promote videos that are going to make them more money. So I hope this was eye-opening and helpful for you guys. It did take me a year and a half to get monetized on YouTube once I was under the review process. It took me 20 days, but there were some things that I did behind the scenes to make that process go smoothly, as well as set my account up for success to make sure that I was making as much money as I possibly could right from the start. So I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel down below. And if there are any other YouTube related videos that you would like to see here on my channel, please just let me know. I will of course let you guys know when I receive my first paycheck from YouTube and how that all works, but that is it for me. Bye guys.